Hello and welcome to the program, Sula's Big Adventures, with me, Sula. It's time for another Deep Sky Challenge. Today we're going to look at a protoplanetary nebula called Minkowski's Footprint Nebula. It's also known as M1-92 and it's found in the constellation Cygnus the Swan. This object can be seen from March to December. Though probably the best months to look for it are October and November when you don't have to look so high overhead to see it. I've been working on this project for months, maybe even a year, and I just never found the time to finish it. So I'm sorry, it's almost December as I film this, but you can still try for it, even though it's past the meridian by the time it gets dark in late autumn. And if you can't see it, it's something to look forward to, to look for in the spring. Minkowski's Footprint Nebula is very easy to find, but it can be hard to see because it's so tiny. It's only 20 by 4 arc seconds. Its apparent magnitude is 11.7. .7. So you can see this object with a small telescope of at least 100 millimeters if you know exactly where to look and exactly what to look for. Before I tell you how to find it, if you want to know more about the discovery of this object by Robert Minkowski in about protoplanetary nebulae in general, you can watch my video about another protoplanetary nebula that I call the Little Ring Nebula M1-64 in Lyra. But to find M1-92, find Cygnus the Swan or the Northern Cross and go to the swan's head, the beautiful double star Albireo, or Beta Cygni, and put Albireo at the edge of your Telrad's outer circle and make a straight line from Albireo to Eta Cygni, a magnitude 3.8 star you should be able to see. And if you have the Telrad precisely lined up with those two stars, then the center of the Telrad will be on the footprint nebula but you won't be able to see it in the Telrad and maybe not even at low magnification in your telescope. And if you're not using a Telrad, just go exactly two degrees in a straight line from Albireo toward Eta Cygni and you'll be on the footprint nebula. But since you won't be able to see it at low magnification or it'll just appear like a star, Look for the star 9 Cygni, which is magnitude 5.3, and look for the double star just to its east, star HR7466, which is magnitude 6.4. So those two stars, 9 Cygni and 7466, will look fairly bright in your finder scope or your telescope at low magnification. And the footprint nebula is just a smidge northeast of those two stars in the direction of Eta Cygni. And the footprint nebula makes a shallow triangle with those two stars. And here's a star chart showing the exact location of M1-92 in relation to those two stars. At low magnification, it'll look like a fuzzy star. But center that, and once you magnify that fuzzy looking object to about 90 times magnification, it will start to appear like something other than a star. And when you boost your magnification even more to 200 times or so, you should be able to see that it's something elongated. If you're able to magnify even more, you'll want to do that. And at around 350 times to 400 times magnification, if you can go that high, you'll start to see that it actually has two lobes. And one lobe is brighter because that lobe is tipped toward us. And if you're able to magnify that much or more, it may even appear like a footprint. <laughs> nice. Now I have the footprint nebula in my 15 inch reflector. At 250 times magnification, I can see that it's elongated, but I'm going to increase the magnification even more to see if I can break it into two lobes.
be back in a minute. It's a beautiful evening. Very, very clear, but not clear enough to go to 500 times. I uh, couldn't make it into two lobes. That was too much magnification. So instead, I'm going to go to 400 times with this eyepiece and see if I can break it into two lobes. Oh, uh, I'm going to turn the light off and study it. Nice. Woohoo! At this magnification, I can see the two lobes and I can make out that one lobe is a little bit brighter than the other one. That's the lobe that's tipped toward us. <laughs> and it kind of does look like a footprint. <laughs> Pretty neat. Very neat. Very neat object. Yes, I see the Footprint Nebula M1-92 in Cygnus the Swan with my 10-inch Dobsonian. I'm at 120 times magnification with an O3 filter and with averted vision I can just barely make out that it has two lobes because it's so tiny, but I can see it. I'm going to magnify a little bit more and see if I can see the lobes better. But I see it in the 10 inch. Yes! Last summer I looked at the Footprint Nebula for the first time with a 12 inch telescope. It took me a long time, but now that I know what to look for, I am going to look at it with this 115 millimeter refractor. That's four and a half inches. I have it in there now and I can see that it's elongated. I'm at 120 times magnification. I'm gonna go up higher and see if I can make out the loaves with this 115 millimeter telescope. Nice. Okay, now I can use the three millimeter in this telescope. That puts me at 268 times magnification, and now it appears elongated. And I think I can see that it has two lobes with this four and a half inch telescope. Pretty neat. This is the smallest instrument I've ever seen it with. And once you've looked at it, it gets easier to find and to see once you know what to look for. Very cool object. Very nice. Okay, so I saw Minkowski's Footprint Nebula with a 115 millimeter telescope. I'm not going to get out my 90 millimeter because it's cold out here. You can see this object from March to December. If you look at it in June, July, August, it's almost directly overhead. And so it's a little easier to see if you wait until the fall. But if you wait too late, then it starts to get cold. But you can see it. And Sue French said she saw it with a 102 millimeter refractor. So give it a try if you have a small telescope and let me know if you saw it. Well, that's it for Minkowski's Footprint Nebula. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Dark skies forever. Sula signing off. <laughs>